Today on Retro Tech, we're taking a look at part two of the tube swap video. Now this is the video where we're gonna look at these two monitors where we attempted to swap the tubes, but it was not successful. However, as you can see, both tubes are back in their original chassis and monitor frame, and they're working fine. Now the one on the right was the older monitor that had the brighter picture, and it has not been adjusted, but the RGB monitor looks great and is working well and i just want to let everybody know that it's okay sometimes to take a risk and try new things as long as you do it safely even if sometimes the results don't go the way you want them to so in today's video let's just take a closer look at how i got this first monitor back to working condition i'll also be showing a short calibration demo as we try to get the screen back to crisp condition if this happens to be the first time you've caught any videos with Retro Tech, do please consider subscribing. And as always, please like the video and leave a comment. And now, let's go ahead and get back to the repair. First thing we need to do is get the original tube back into its original chassis so it'll start working again. So even after all the work and we weren't able to switch the tubes the way I had hoped, there's still not a lot of damage or any real damage done to this monitor and the other tube should be fine so I'll go ahead and reinstall it. Now in the future if I come across a tube that needs a swap and I have another spare CRT tube I will try this again, document it and we'll hope to have better success on that one. 
But still, all in all, it was a good learning experience and a good chance to get some practice tearing down CRTs. Thanks again for watching. I'm Steve with Retro Tech, and have a wonderful day.